Hey guys, welcome to another video. So, like I mentioned a few days ago, Brandon had his theory, uh, well, a couple of days ago now, and we've met up, and we're going to discuss what happened in his theory, uh, and uh, yeah, Brandon's going to talk you through it. So, Brandon, just get straight into it. Tell us what happened on your theory test. But the thing was, you know, um, when you booked it, you didn't book it ages ago. <laughs> when did you book it? I booked it on... How many, how many days before your actual test? Six days. Six days, yeah. And <laughs> he, he called me, he goes, I've, uh, I've got a date for, what, six days time? Yeah. I'm like, man, it's totally up to you. Yeah, that, see, that kind of stuff. You guys know how, how, you, how you guys can revise best. Yeah. yeah. If you can get all that information, if you can process all the information, you were like, oh, you know, if I book it, I'll revise and get it done. Mm -hmm. Because you say that's the kind of person you are, yeah. So... Yeah, so it's only six days before. We don't normally advise that. We normally say at least three or four weeks beforehand. Mm -hmm. So you give yourself enough time. But yeah, um, you you did that. You went for it. And what happened? I passed. <laughs> it was good. It was good. I got 48 out of 50 on the theory test. And I got 67 out of 75 on the hazard perception. So it's not as though I barely scraped it like I was quite quite high up there which is which was nice for me um i booked it as soon as possible because that's just that's just how i do things if i would have if i would have booked it a month in advance i wouldn't have started revising until that final week it would would, would have been a waste so i wanted to get it as soon as possible to force me to actually take action and even then i didn't start revising until the wednesday Cool. Let me just pop in there. That's okay for the theory too, because you know you can sit down and like just do your theory. Yeah, but guys, do not do not do that with your yeah, practice. Don't do that. Because I've had people in the past they call me. Oh, been I've booked a test for next week. Yeah, can you get me in every day for lessons? Nah. Your instructor will not be able, well, most instructors are not, especially now, won't be able to get you in for frequent lessons. Yeah, so make sure before you book your test, just like Brandon did with his theory, he called me beforehand. Yeah, so if you're booking a practical test, don't surprise your instructor. Make sure you ask them first, have a discussion, and then book your uh, driving test. Yeah, sorry, Brent, carry on. If you're doing it theory, do whatever you feel is best for you, for your knowledge-wise. I didn't start revising until th on the Wednesday, and my test was on the Saturday, and on the Wednesday and the Thursday, I just went through a little bit of content, only like a few, like, 30 minutes or so and on the Friday I got all the content finished uh, and then I started doing mock tests on that day and I started doing had perception mock tests on that day so I used that Friday to fully revise and in the morning on the way there I did one more mock test I got 48 out of 50 coincidentally on that mock test and then just went in and did it I would say make sure you feel comfortable before you actually go into the test you need to know your own ability. I know my ability and it's like I work better under pressure. For me that was pressure and it was like, okay, I need to get this done. Don't stress. Don't don't stress at all. It's it's not as bad as it thinks. It's all common sense. The things that you'll need to focus a little bit more on are signs, um, just you know, fully getting those in. Um but how would you classify it? Is it like insurance stuff? Because you need to know that. You know, like, yeah, the insurance stuff, make sure you remember the insurance stuff because you might not be new to it at all because I was and I was like, what the hell is this? So I know that now. Um, same with, like, the first aid stuff. I'd done first aid before, so a lot of it was in my head anyway, so it was quite, quite easy. Um, and uh, would you say, you know, because you've been, obviously you've had a few driving lessons now, yeah, you're, you're quite in, well into your uh, driving journey. This yeah. helped me a lot. This is what I wanted to do. I learned better through practicality. If I'd done the theory before, who knows what would ha happen, but I don't think I would have been as comfortable. And in terms of the hazard perception, a problem that I kept on coming across is that I would click the moment I saw the hazard, but on the actual, when you review it and see what happened, on a few clips, not in, my, in my mock ones, uh, in a few clips, I'd got zero out of five. And it was literally a fraction of a click before they wanted you to click it. So it, too early. I was too early because I saw what was happening. But I think, okay, it's clearly obvious that something's happening, so I'll click now. But I didn't do the three uh, the three click method after that, so I lost. Like I was a little early, so that's a bit sad. Um, I didn't do that in the actual test. If you see something, click once, 
wait a second or so, then click again, and then as it's approaching even sooner, click again. They'll take the one that you did first, if it's a five, and they'll, they'll do it that way. Um, so just be, be aware of that. Don't click too early, and if you do click early, make sure to follow it up with like one or two more clicks. And um, in the test, if you've got your headset on, don't take it off. <laughs> Why? I was midway through the hazard perception test, and I thought, I don't need the headset on anymore. So I took it off backwards, and it had like a little wire, wires going down. So it fell, it got caught on the back of my hair on my bun. And now I'm trying to take it off, but the video is playing. So I'm like, oh no! <laughs> and I accidentally clicked on the on the button when I was taking it off. And I looked forward, it's like, oh! Look, luckily, it was on the point where the hazard was. So as I was taking it off, I accidentally clicked, and I noticed, and then I clicked two more times to keep, in, uh, keep it going. I, I don't think many people would do that, you know? it's just you, Brandon. <laughs> that was just me. But don't do it, okay? <laughs> Be aware. Don't lose focus. I was losing focus during the hazard perception. I started looking right, see who was coming through the door at one point. Just stay focused. Cool. The main thing is... You, you, you've passed obviously with the theory it's just like it's not a massive deal if you do fail but it's just more time really yeah yeah you, um, just like with the practical test now at the moment it's like if you fail like before it was like, okay we can just rebook but yeah. now it's it's quite hard to uh, to get to get tests unless you find a cancellation just like you did yeah there are lots of apps to get as well so just find an app get an app if you do it for free online you could probably find a lot of the stuff but you're just having to search everywhere just get an app and then just 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 cool. go through and like brandon said it's like because he was doing the practical lessons it helped but there's no rule saying you have to have driving lessons because some people do ask me oh before my theory how many lessons sh should i take you don't need to take any practical lessons before you do your theory but obviously it does it, it does help yeah cool then so um yeah so now your theory's booked, the, the first thing that people start thinking, okay, I've got, to, I've got to put my practical now, which, again, always discuss with your driving instructor, yeah. Like, my advice to Brand now is, because he did, um, when he told me he'd pass his test, uh, his theory test, he was like, oh, shall I book my practical now, yeah. And we're at that stage, where, like you said, we've, we've almost covered yeah. most of the stuff, yeah. And um, I would say, yeah, as long as the date's not for next week, yeah, but yeah. Go, go online, see what kind of date you can get for, like anything for about three or four weeks time. Personally, I think look, because we could double up on a lesson if you wanted to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, yeah. So we are going to start looking for a practical test date. And as soon as we book that, we are going to let everyone know as well. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Cool. So um, that's it, guys. You want to add anything else, friend? Um, if you're doing your theory test or it's coming up or you're worried about it, don't stress. Honestly, just don't stress. Go through everything carefully. Make sure you read the questions, especially if you're in the test. I, I, I completed the mock tests in like nine minutes. But in the, th in the actual theory test, like when I was there, it took me like 30 minutes or so because I actually fully read the questions just so I wasn't making mistakes. If you get confused, flag a question in the test and then you can come back at the end. I flagged like 13, even though I, I thought, yeah, this is right. I flagged them because I was like, I still want to check them. Went back again, reread it, and I thought, yeah, I'm right. Do that. Just don't doubt yourself in that sense. And if you do, flag it, check it at the end. You've got plenty of time. They give you 57 minutes, and if you use all of that, that's fine. So you've got plenty of time. Just don't stress. Cool. Thanks, Art Brand, for the advice. There you go. Top tips and advice from someone who's just passed their theory test. Yeah. And guys, any of you who've got their theory or practical coming up, wish you best of luck. Yeah. Good luck for that. Yeah. Thank you for all the advice as well. It really helped. Yeah. In the last video when we mentioned to everyone that he's going for his theory test, everybody um, commented with their actual tips. So yeah, thanks for that. And like always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.